Hey everyone, uh, we are Purple Team as I'm Lord Farcute also, Tivita Mia and Isabel. Uh, we, are, we are Purple Team. First of all, I have to say welcome to all of you. Welcome. Today I invite, invite you to explore the unique and enchanting world of cultures. The doors of the Universal Heritage Museum are open to, open to you. Offering a unique cultural, cultural treasury filed with selected artworks from around the world. Each piece not only tells its own story from its culture, but also extends an invitation to bridge between cultures. Um, before we delve into our first piece, let me tell you how we emphasize diversity and inclusivity here. Each artwork presents the presents a unique expression of its own culture, creating a mosaic that means different perspectives. At the core of this project it is the emphasis on diversity and inclusivity. Each piece offers a unique expression of its own culture, providing visitors with different perspectives. The Universal Heritage Museum is a cultural mosaic that celebrates diversity and strives to unite different cultures. This museum aims to embrace differences and establish connections between cultures. So I would like to talk, the next thing that I would like to talk about is accessibility. I'd like to introduce another important element, accessibility in our museum. We've enhanced physical access points such as elevators and ramps. Additionally, we support mental accessibility with features like audio narrations and note cards. Ensuring that this cultural odyssey is accessible to everyone has been a very meticulous process. Features such as elevators and ramps are not just physical elements, they symbolize our dedication to sculpting a space that extends a warm welcome to, individ to individuals of, or ab of all abilities. Over time, these physical access points have become reflections of the values we carry from the past into the present. To talk about construction phase of the museum, when the idea first idea of the museum first came out. I did not have much much an idea how to build. I spent long time to learn how to build as well. <clears throat> now, while building, everything seems more understandable. I did not buy everything from the market while building the museum. I sent messages to the creators of the objects that would be useful to us told them what we are doing and brought them for free or, a, or at a discount. Of course, not all of them responded. But there were more who did. The building phase of museum was very enjoyable. I learned lots of new things. I would like to take a part in a similar project again. If I have to talk about criteria, there are expl explanations everywhere in the museum. It's not a very big museum, but we have a sign showing stairs and elevators. I tried to make sure our signs and slides easy to read. We use notes cards, voice narration, understandable slides, and braille dots to make, make our museum accessible. What we learned about working uh, in Second Life as a team is uh, it's way easier. It's a virtual world after all. It's very easy to connect with people. The only hard part was the time difference since uh, three members or two members of our group are living in this, uh, are living with me in the same country. One member is living abroad. It was very difficult to get in touch, but we did manage after all. We, we planned things out. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a virtual world and it's very accessible. Just get on your laptop and do things and plan things together with your friends. Uh, it was very enjoyable and I would want to do it again. If we try to uh, meet in physical areas, it will be impossible, but now we can handle it with this area, so it will be more easier for us. This is I'm Lord Farquaad from the Purple Team, and we thank you so much for your attention.